Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is John with uh, Space City EDC. Hope you're having a good morning. We're here today to talk about uh, buck knives, bounds in particular. Uh, I was scrolling my local Walmart and uh, they had a 285 bound that uh, was in the case and I saw it. Didn't have that one in my collection, so I thought I'd pick it out. We'll go through it real here, real quick. Box is uh, pretty much standard stuff. Cancer warnings for people who get cancer from knives, I guess. I don't know. Uh, pretty non-discreet. Made in America. Right here. Some would argue that point about these bounds. Uh, some say that there are Chinese parts assembled in America. But uh, anyway, I've got this one particularly because of the orange color, kind of an orange camouflage. I didn't have it. And I wanted this color. Uh, let's go over some of the specs on it. And uh, it's 428C steel with a drop point blade. It's got a nice blade. All these bucks come pretty sharp out of the, at least the ones I've had, come pretty sharp out of the, out of the box. Pretty good. But you can see there's a model 285 bound. Buck USA, got a nice false edge on the top here and squared off back here for, uh, I guess, striking. If you need a ferro rod or something, it's got the thumb studs. Only a one-way pocket clip. There's nowhere else to put it. Has a lanyard loop. And some uh, gimping here on the back and down here on the edge, which is pretty nice. Nice size. Fits your hand really good. I have reasonably large hands and it uh, fits in there. I like this lock back. It is a lock back design, but I like the placement of the release here in the middle. Uh, because if you're holding the knife and you kind of drop back a little bit, you can pretty much do it one handed. It's a little harder here on camera, but. Uh, Pretty easy deployment with the thumb studs. Like I said, you could, if I was out somewhere, I would push that up against my leg or maybe a limb or something, but if I had to. But it's a little stiff right now because it's brand new. Not too bad. Pretty smooth. Blade alignment's eh, okay. The blade is thick enough, it fits in there completely on one end, so. Holds it pretty steady. Got the split in the back. Not much blade play there. Pretty good and solid. Heard some people complain about the blade play there. They'll see it moving back here, but you know, it's a $20, $30 knife, so take it for what it is. But uh, you can remove the pocket clip if you choose to got a uh, textured nylon handle. I like that. It had a good feel to it. And uh, blade thickness is 0 0.120. Like I said, we have the drop point blade and the blade length is 3.18 or 7.9 centimeters. It's uh, 2.4 ounces. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. But, uh, like I said, they have a nice little feel to them. I like these blades. I carried this big brother. The, uh, this is the 286 Phantom. Same exact knife, except uh, a little bit bigger. And uh, I carried that one for quite a while. I've had this one for quite a while. And it was a good knife. Served me well while I was carrying it. I still carry it from time to time. Uh, 
everything's the same on this one as far as the blade design and the blade steel 420HC. It's got the uh, blade thickness is the same, 0.12, a little heavier, 3.2 ounces. And of course, the blade is longer, three and three quarters of an inch or 9.5 centimeters. Has the same exact thing. Pocket clip is non-reversible, only fits on one side. This is the camo version, which I like that kind. I like that too. It's got the 286 here with the thumb stud. Same exact design of the knife. And you can also get, if those two aren't your style, you can get a smaller version, the 284. Same exact knife in a smaller package. Has the gimping. Just like this big brothers has a thumb studs 420hc steel false edge on one side drop point blade same type of handle material except of course it's a little smaller and uh this lantern didn't come with it i put that on there myself now they got some letter designations i'm not sure what they stand for maybe some of you guys might know, but uh, this one sells $23.99 on the Buck website at the moment. Blade thickness is a little thinner, 0 0.10. On your blade thickness, of course, it's gonna be thinner because it's a smaller knife. Uh, weight's 1.5 ounces, nylon handle. Two and three quarters inch on the blade, 7.0 centimeters. But uh, that's the three colors it comes in. You can get either one of these in one of these three colors, the orange, the camo, or the black. And, uh, you know, they're budget knives. So a lot of people will, you know, they always sometimes seem like they're negative on the budget knives, but for me, I'm on a budget, so I enjoy the budget knives. And, uh, I have some more expensive ones, but if you're at work or you're out in the woods or you're camping, you have, you know, you're using one of these knives, if you beat it up or lose it, it's not the end of the world. You know, you're not out a lot of money and they're good, decent knives for the buck. Uh, no pun intended. Now this one on the website sells for $29.99 at the present time. And this one is $33.99 on buck website at the present time. You can get them cheaper. Uh, probably if you shop around, but even at that price, they're still a good bargain, I feel. Uh, they all operate exactly the same. They're all locked back. So you know, a small one has a lock back here in the heel, in the uh, back of the spine. Uh, good solid little knife, you know, just a little smaller. Fits in your pocket. You don't have a belt clip with it. Doesn't come with a belt clip. Uh, only the other two bigger ones, the 285 and the uh, 286. Now the 286, they call it a BHW knife on the website. I don't know what the BHW stands for. Uh, and then the 285, they call it a BLW. I'm not sure what that stands for. And the smaller one is a BBW. Perhaps maybe some of you guys are a little more familiar with it. Might be able to tell me that but uh, anyway that's it I just wanted to make this little video on the book Bantam uh, tell me what you think about it if you've carried them if you like them if you don't like them uh, what you do or don't like about them you know I always like to talk about knives kind of a hobby but uh, these are the three color schemes they come in all are exactly the same same type gimping in the same areas, thumb studs, lock backs, 420HC steel, nylon handles. Uh, there you go. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these kind of videos and this kind of content, please like and subscribe. It always helps the channel. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. This again is John with Space City to see. You guys have a great weekend, great week. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.